Hi everyone, this is Steve Johnson, and welcome to another three-minute thriller where we give you professional development in three minutes or less. In today's three-minute thriller, you will learn how to use keyboard shortcuts within Google Drive. And you can do this by clicking on the Shift key and the question mark key. So let me show you how you do this. I'm in my Google Drive right now. Here's the top level of my Google Drive. What I'm going to do is just make sure that I've clicked somewhere in the window where my Google Drive is. I'm going to hold down the Shift key and the question mark key. When I do that, you can see that keyboard shortcuts pop up. And as I scroll down, I can see all of the keyboard shortcuts that do the following commands. So, for example, to select down on an item, you can click on the J button or the down button. I'll click somewhere else. So if I click on here, I can click the down arrow, which you probably already know, or the up arrow. Or if I want to go down, I can click the J button. So typing the J key is making the selection move down. Now if I go shift and question mark again, I can look at some other things. I can select up with K or the up button, select to the right with L or the right button, and so on and so forth. Maybe there's some different things you want to do besides just moving the selection around. Like maybe you want to open up the navigation pane. Well, you can do that with holding down the G and the N button or the G and the F button. So for example, if I hold down G N, you can see that right here it selects in the navigation right here. And I can click J or down and I can go up and down on the left hand side. Now, if I go ahead and click shift and question mark again, there's some really great tools down here that you can use. You can create a folder, right, by clicking shift and F. So here, shift, F, you can see that a new folder pops up, the box pops up, instead of going to new and folder. You can do the same thing for, uh, for documents. If I go back here, you can create a document by clicking on shift and T. So here's the shift key and T. And you can see that a new document opens up. It's an untitled document. And just by clicking the shift and the T button, I could open up that new tab um, instead of going to new and Google Docs. So again, shift and question mark, which I just clicked again, is a great way to speed up your workflow, especially if you're using Google more and more in the classroom. And it's also a great thing to teach the students so that they can work more quickly.